So, we are discussing about the uh, wave function basically we found the Eigen function solving the Schrodinger equation for uh, hydrogen like atom. So, we have seen this from wave, fu wave function how the radial how this radial part of the wave function uh, varies and corresponding uh, radial density probability. So, uh, and also uh, I have shown that this the maximum probability for the for the electron density electron radial density for the highest value of L n minus 1 that is exactly the Bohr radius which we got from the expression from the Bohr model. So, basically for n equal to 1 it is a 0, n equal to 2 it is 4 a 0, n equal to 3 it is 9 a 0. So, that is why here I have marked this 1 okay, and that is equal to Bohr radius first orbit and then here this uh, L equal to n minus 1 L equal to n minus 1. Okay. So, here it is 4 means 4 a 0 4 times of Bohr radius and this is uh, also L equal to n minus 1. So, this here this 9. So, these are basically exactly the uh, Bohr orbit radius of, 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 of orbit uh, got from the Bohr model and from wave function also one can predict that one and of course, something more one can find from the wave function. So, this second uh, part I was discussing the angular uh, distribution angular probability density and I have shown that this uh, how angular probability density varies for different value of L and M. Okay. So, that I have I have discussed. So, this is the so this is the directionality of the of the uh, electron density in in uh, atom and these are very uh, useful for in chemistry basically for uh, bonding. So, if you uh, when this atom different atom forms molecule how they form bond and these are so this variation of angular variation of probability density it is basically uh, explain the formation of bond in molecules. Okay. And also um, this uh, from here uh, also this this is the uh, uh, this is basically it is comparable with the space quantization in case of, of uh, Bohr small field model uh, whatever we have seen this the same result basically we are getting from uh, from hydrogen from solving the Schrodinger equation. So, that also so from whatever from Bohr uh, small field model or or the atomic structure based on uh, old quantum theory uh, introducing many postulates on in ad hoc basis. So, but it can it explains everything about the atomic structure. Solving the Schrodinger equation also we are getting we are getting the uh, similar concept or same concept, but it has come in natural way as many times I am telling this after completed calculation same thing we are getting, but things are has come in natural way. Okay, so, that is the difference and also something more we are getting uh, from from solving the uh, Schrodinger equation. Okay. So, so, basically uh, spherical harmonics as I showed you and plotted 
polar graph. So, this this uh, y l m we tell it is spherical harmonics and it has two of two for theta and phi dependent. So, overall this uh, this eigen uh, function for hydrogen like atom whatever we after solving Schrodinger equation we got that has two part one is radial part and another is angular part. So, angular part is spherical uh, called spherical harmonics okay. and this spherical harmonics uh, I have shown this uh, uh, expression for few value of L and M and we have plotted also. Uh, now, this spherical harmonics in real form is basically it's, uh, it's complex number are there right e to the power i phi uh, 2 i phi etcetera. Okay. So, in real form spherical harmonics is a real form one can write like this okay. this uh, uh, L equal to 0 m equal to 0. So, s equal to 1 by uh, square root of 4 phi okay. and it is uh, its graph is like this distribution is spherical distribution okay. circular distribution and when you uh, rotate uh, about the z axis you when you rotate it. So, it will be sphere. Uh, so, this this called s function right. So, in real form on in reality whatever we are uh, terms we are using this basically it is l equal to 0 and m equal to 0 whatever the n value does not matter. So, we tell this s orbit or this is the s function. Similarly, p function that is for l equal to 1 and m equal to 0 plus minus 1. So, this basically p function now generally we use uh, as a in, in Cartesian coordinate basically we uh, using Cartesian coordinate we use p x, p y, p z. Okay. So, here uh, this uh, this p value basically uh, just real part we have taken here you can see that uh, for L equal to 1 m equal to 0 plus minus 1. So, it is cos theta. So, it is cos theta is there p z term okay. and p x plus 1 and minus 1 we are telling that is plus 1 this p x and this minus 1 is p y. Okay. So, uh, here it is sin theta e to the power plus minus i phi. So, e to the power plus minus i phi it is basically cos theta plus minus i sin theta. Okay. So, uh, only real part we we take. So, uh, so this for uh, one we have taken cos phi another part is sin phi real part so that is the we are telling this spherical harmonics in real form. Okay. So, uh, why why, why it, it is called like this p z p x p y it is the name nomenclature has come because of the uh, distribution of this uh, distribution along the x axis y axis z axis. So, p z it is basically this uh, uh, distribution is uh, along the z axis it is p x distribution along the x axis and other one p y it is distribution is along the y axis. Okay. So, that is why. So, p x is nothing but l equal to 1 m equal to 0 p sorry uh, m equal to 0 it is p z m equal to plus 1 for l equal to 1 of course. So, plus 1 this is p x and minus 1 is p y. Okay. So, it is uh, as per the uh, nomenclature as per the distribution of the like angular distribution of the of the uh, charge okay, or electrons uh, electronic charge. So, similarly for L equal to 2 and M equal to will be 0 uh, plus minus 1 plus minus 2. So, its nomenclature is like this T M equal to 0 this D 3 Z square minus R square M equal to plus 1 D X Y minus 1 D Y Z m equal to plus 2 d x square minus y square this. So, this subscript is basically uh, this this has come as we have seen 
uh, according to the distribution of the electron in Cartesian uh, coordinate. So, here also this has come uh, as per this uh, distribution of the uh, charge uh, in Cartesian coordinate. Okay. So, this I am not uh, describing uh, or showing these plots. So, this but these are the we are uh, familiar with p x p y p j d uh, 3 j square minus r square d. So, the, the uh, d has 5 uh, orbitals right and uh, yes and p has 3 orbitals right and s has only 1 orbitals. Okay. So, uh, so this 3 and 5 again p x p y p j the here other case um, d uh, 3 j square minus r square etcetera. So, this nomenclature has come because of the distribution of spherical harmonics in terms of Cartesian coordinate. Okay. So, so now uh, I, I would like to discuss about, uh, uh, about uh, the orbital angular momentum operator and commutator because this is very useful. So, what we have seen that we have solved the Schrodinger equation. Okay. So, we got the Eigen value equation means if we, we got this Eigen function that is psi n l and now if we operate Hamiltonian energy operator on this wave function Eigen wave function then we get Eigen value equation H psi n l equal to E n psi n l. Okay. So, that is Eigen value equation and we get the Eigen value E n, okay. but uh, this psi n l m it is the Eigen function of uh, Eigen function of, of uh, Hamiltonian H, it can be simultaneous Eigen function of other operator also. Operator is basically is the observable, right? If we, uh, if we operate operator operate operator on the wave function, then it gives it gives the some Eigen value. Okay. Uh, so that Eigen value is basically uh, we are interested for that, and that's uh, that's the observable. Okay. So if I want to know about the energy, so we apply. H Hamiltonian, if you want to know the uh, angular momentum, so we have to operate <coughs> L. Okay. So, so now uh, we want to see whether this psi n L m, whether it is simultaneous uh, wave function of, of L angular momentum or not. Okay. So, so for that we have to know about uh, the uh, operator and commutator. So, if two operator two operator commutes then we tell that these two operator may will have or may have the simultaneous wave function. Okay. So, so this so orbital angular momentum operator If we, if I tell from the basics of angular momentum, you know, in classical mechanics, it's the r cross p. R is uh, position, uh, position, and p is uh, linear momentum. Okay, so r is uh, it has three component: i along the x direction, y direction, z direction. I, j, k are the unit vectors. Similarly, p x, p y, p z is three component along x, y, and z direction. So, in form of operator phi is in quantum mechanics, so that already you know I told you. So, p basically it is in operator from minus i h cos del, del is nothing but this. Okay. So, uh, then, uh, then operator it, uh, it, it follows uh, it follows commutator algebra. Okay, some relation it follows. So, this if A and B are operator, it can be energy operator, it can be momentum operator, okay, whatever. So, uh, so, this they follows this commutator algebra. 
okay, commutator A B equal to minus B A if you just exchange. So, these are the these are the commutator algebra it follows and also uh, position and momentum linear momentum the, their commutator relation is x p x equal to y p y equal to z p z equal to i h cos. Okay. So, that means they do not commute position and momentum they linear momentum they does not commute if they commute then this should be equal to 0. Okay. So, they does not commute that means they will not have simultaneous wave function or also they cannot be measured simultaneously. Okay. If you measure one accurately other one uncertain will be infinity. Okay. So, that is the rules in quantum mechanics. So, now using this commutator algebra and this uh, this relation okay, position and momentum relation. So, one can one can one can find out one can easily uh, prove that L x because we are interested for orbital angular momentum. So, orbital angular momentum here uh, you can write three component L x L y L z. So, these are the this way we can write. So, one can find out easily uh, these are the three components. Now, they will uh, their commutation relation is like this okay. that can be proved whatever here I have given. Uh, so, that can be proved easily. Uh, so, this L x so these three components basically they do not commute with each other okay. L x L y is equal to i h cos l z okay. l y l z equal to i h cos l x l z l y equal to i h cos l y. Okay. So, they does not commute means they do not have simultaneous wave function. Okay. Uh, we cannot have simultaneous wave function for them, uh, but, but l square is basically L x square plus L y square plus L z square and L square and L z they commute with each other. L z and L square they commute with each other. So, that is equal to 0. Okay. So, that means this L z and L square will have the simultaneous wave function and also it can be measured their uh, their object this um, uh, uh, these are operator and then correspond if we apply. So, they are corresponding jet uh, uh, component of, of angular momentum and they are uh, square of that angular momentum okay, or, or this angular momentum uh, can be measured uh, accurately. Okay. So, so, now uh, Now, in spherical coordinate, in spherical coordinate, uh, this uh, L z is equal to minus i a cos del by del phi and L square equal to minus a cos square uh, 1 by sin theta del by del theta sin theta del by del theta plus 1 by sin square theta del square by del phi square. So, this basically you have seen this basically you have seen uh, when we are solving the Schrodinger equation in spherical coordinate. So, this part was there basically. Okay. Uh, so, these are the form of L z and L square in spherical coordinate and they commute with each other. So, they will have simultaneous wave function. Okay. So, basically the spherical harmonics whatever we have uh, seen y l m function of theta and phi. So, these are the this is the uh, wave function for L z as well as for L square. So, if we apply L z on this, so it is uh, it is follows the Eigen value equation and gives the uh, Eigen value this m a h cross. Similarly, for L square if we apply on this, so you will get uh, the Eigen value l l plus 1 ok so uh, so this uh, also it it can be shown that 
this and this spherical harmonic is the part of the of the psi in L m. So, this complete wave function complete wave function for hydrogen like atom psi n l. So, it has two part one radial part r n l and y l m. Okay. So, that means, if you apply this l j then l square on psi n l m. So, you will get this uh, uh, same result. So, that means, we can tell this l j and l square okay, have simultaneous wave function that is psi n l m. Okay. So, uh, and also h, so also this psi n l m is a wave function of h Hamiltonian. So, that means, h l square and l z commutes should commutes with each other, then only it will have the simultaneous wave function and that happens and that happens h l square this commutator if equal to 0 h l z this commutation commutator if equal to 0 l z l square of course, we have seen that is equal to 0. Okay. So, other way if there is if two operator have simultaneous wave function then they must commute or if two operator commutes with each other uh, then they will have the simultaneous wave function. So, finally, we can tell that psi n l m r theta phi is a simultaneous wave function of h l square and l z and so that means, just if you operate h on the psi n l we are we will get uh, eigen value e n similarly for uh, l square we will get l l plus 1 and l z if we apply. So, this is m a is cross. Okay. So, so, here you can see this we have wave function and we have showed that it has uh, it is the wave function of uh, simultaneous wave function of h l square and l z. Okay. So, here we are getting energy we are getting angular momentum. So, basically so uh, easy if, uh, probably you remember that we earlier we have written l equal to uh, l h cross right. So, but eigen value basically l h cross, but here just it is slightly different it is it will be square root of square root of l l plus 1. So, instead of l in from quantum mechanics this angular momentum this eigen value we are getting square root of l l plus 1. Similarly, z component that is basically the space quantization. So, we are getting m uh, eigen value that is m is cross. Okay. So, these are the information uh, is very important and uh, this whatever here at the end I told you. So, that is uh, that has come in natural way from quantum mechanics which also uh, we have seen uh, in case of old quantum theory okay. and uh, that is basically uh, similar result or same result we got from the quantum mechanics also. So, for so this uh, so far whatever we have discussed and solve so solving the Schrodinger equation for hydrogen like atom this what we got the information. So, whatever information we got that is not sufficient to explain the atomic spectra of hydrogen, because atomic spectra of hydrogen it shows the fine structure as well as it shows the hyper fine structure that already you have seen I have discussed based on the old quantum theory. And from Schrodinger equation what we got the energy level energy we got exactly. We also got the concept of uh, orbit uh, radius, we also got the concept of angular momentum, uh, space quantization right. And here it shows it shows the this energy it shows that the psi n l m 
it has n square full degeneracy means there are n square number of of, of, of these eigen uh, states or eigen function, but they will have the same energy. So, just for n equal to 1, l equal to uh, l equal to 0 and m equal to 0. Okay. So, uh, it has so it is n equal to 1 it has some energy and for that energy we have uh, one wave function n square n equal to 1 1. For n equal to 2 l equal to uh, so we will have uh, uh, 0 and uh, 1 2 uh, l value and for each value l value l equal to 0 and m equal to 0 uh, m equal to 0. So, that is 1 and l equal to 1 m equal to 0 and plus minus 1. So, we will have 4, four eigen, uh, eigen states or 4 eigen function, but for for uh, that is for n equal to 2 we will have this 4 eigen function. So, means n square n equal to 2 four, 4, uh, 4 eigen functions having the same energy E 2 and so these are called the degeneracy. So, this n square full degeneracy, but actually this degeneracy is not there it is uh, uh, that is that is what we, uh, we see the fine structure also hyper fine structure and this this Schrodinger equation we have solved. So, basically it cannot explain fine and hyper fine structure why because this Schrodinger equation is non relativistic spinless Schrodinger equation. Okay. We have not this Schrodinger equation has not considered spin of the electron also it is non relativistic because we have written energy like this p square by 2 m uh, plus v r okay, uh, potential energy. Okay. So, these are non relativistic uh, Hamiltonian and uh, because of this non relativistic spin leg Schrodinger equation, it is unable to explain fine and hyper fine structure. So, basically, we need relativistic correction, also, we need to introduce spin concept. So, that is the basically Dirac equation. So, the in, in Dirac equation, everything is included, uh, it is a uh, it is a uh, is the relativistic uh, Hamiltonian also spin uh, concept is included there. So, basically Dirac equation and the solution and its solution basically can explain everything can explain fine structure, hyper fine structure and uh, beyond that, okay. but it will be difficult for undergraduate student. So, will not uh, will not uh, uh, will not solve this Dirac equation, but but briefly I think I will discuss the result comes out has come uh, came out from come out from the uh, Dirac equation in next class. So, I will stop here. Thank you for your attention.